There are still 13 months to go before any votes will be cast in the race to replace Senator Dianne Feinstein, but the campaign is really already ramping up. Yeah, today, ABC 7 News anchor Liz Croyd sat down with Southern California Congressman Adam Schiff, and she joins us live. And Liz, he's one of many high-profile Democrats to vie for that coveted spot. Yeah, he really is, Ama. And Dan, we know this is going to be a highly contested campaign. Sure. Congressman Schiff was here in the Bay Area today. It's his first campaign swing across the state since launching his campaign for Senate. And after speaking with him today, it's clear he is is branding himself as the experienced candidate who can get things done. I had my bar mitzvah at Temple Isaiah in Lafayette, uh, so shout out to Temple Isaiah. Congressman Adam Schiff might represent Los Angeles, but campaigning here in the Bay Area today, he made his local ties known too. I uh, grew up in the East Bay. I'm a proud Monta Vista Mustang, so I lived in the Alamo Danville area. But from his East Bay roots to serving as a ranking member of Congress, leading the first impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump, Schiff is now hoping to add one more title to his resume, too. The longtime Democrat is running for Senate, looking to replace Dianne Feinstein, who just announced she won't be seeking re-election. Senator Feinstein was the consummate centrist, right, known for working across the aisle, being friends with people on the other side. In such a divided Senate, do you see yourself in that vein as well? Uh, I certainly see myself getting things done. That's the, the kind of leadership I want to bring to the Senate, fighting hard to protect our values uh, and, uh, you know, brooking no, uh, no opposition, uh, tolerating no opposition when it comes to protecting women's reproductive freedom or dealing with a gun violence scourge but also where we can find common ground. Schiff has the coveted endorsement of Speaker Nancy Pelosi, but still is expected to face a competitive and crowded field of Democrats also vying for Feinstein's seat, including fellow Congress members Katie Porter, Barbara Lee, and possibly Ro Khanna. When voters are looking at everybody in the field, why Adam Schiff? Why you? We're all progressives, but I think the question is who can really make progress, who has the demonstrated, demonstrated record of getting things done, on behalf of Californians uh, who has shown the greatest leadership uh, on issues that Californians care about. Schiff says the three pillars of his campaign are the economy, the environment, and preserving democracy. He's selling Democracy Matters mugs on his campaign website and warned this in his campaign launch video. I wish I could say the threat of MAGA extremists is over. It is not. Despite being a prominent target of the right, Schiff could also face criticism from progressives. Several criminal and social justice groups wrote an open letter to Governor Gavin Newsom in 2021, urging him not to appoint Schiff as state attorney general, saying he supported tough on crime policies that contributed to mass incarceration. What is your response to progressives in this state who have questions about your track record on criminal justice reform? Uh, you know, I think certainly, like President Biden, in the 90s when I was in the legislature, I took one view of how we should uh, try to solve the criminal justice challenges we face. Um, I would like to think 25 years later, um, my viewpoint has, has changed, and I've learned uh, that uh, some of the policies of the 90s didn't work. Schiff says he supports a progressive approach to dealing with criminal justice issues, and that while he once supported the death penalty, he's now against it. I don't support the death penalty. Uh, I did for a time support it um, for a narrow category of offenders who killed cops or killed kids. The death penalty has been disproportionately applied to people of color. Uh, and as long as that's the case, um, then I can't support the death penalty. And again, Schiff is one of two official candidates in this race, along with Congresswoman Katie Porter. She's been endorsed by Senator Elizabeth Warren. We did learn today that Bay Area Congresswoman, Bar Congresswoman Barbara Lee has filed her official paperwork, so that announcement is likely coming very soon. But as we mentioned, we're over a year away until the primary. Right. It's right. California. A lot more candidates yeah, could jump yeah, in this for race. Sure. We're going to have a lively debate, too, yes. among these candidates. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you, Liz, very much.